Today is a bit of a light day here on the vlog. Don't have any big epic show or big epic place to go. I think that was a rhyme. But I do have this amazing car that came from the Murphy Museum. It's a 1985 Jeep Grand Wagoneer. It's flawless. It's in a very unique color. It's got shag carpeting. It's got all kinds of really cool stuff. I'm going to show you guys. But like I said, we don't have a lot going on. I know we have to go to Trader Joe's. I know I have to vacuum my truck because something tomorrow is happening. And it's kind of a Juney gloomy day today, which is what happens in June. Technically it's May 31st, it's not June yet, but close enough. Even the doggies are feeling a little gloomy, but I'm not gonna feel gloomy. It's an awesome day. It's gorgeous. See that? We got a bunch of things we gotta wrap up. Kathy's almost done. This is a really uncomfortable position. Kathy's almost done with her job, her Honda job. That's gonna finish up. There's about five or six big things happening over the next five or six big days. So today is basically just a day of prep. What exactly is happening over the next three days? Well, let me tell you. Tomorrow, Ken and John Grafman are coming over and they're gonna help me pull off some of the carbon that's on, on this truck. We're kind of tearing it down slowly over time. They'll lend it up to be something cool, something new, something fresh. And then Friday, Kathy and I are gonna be taking this Grand Wagoneer that we're driving today. We're gonna take it back to the Murphy Museum. We're gonna show you another trailer, but we got a special cool movie car that's gonna be showing up at the vlog. I think I ran a little too fast up the stairs. What that car is, I'm not gonna say. I'm just gonna say it's black and it's cool. And then Saturday, Saturday, Saturday is the, the Hot Wheels show at the Automobile Driving Museum, which we're gonna be doing. But in order to make all those things work really well, Kathy and I have to go to Trader Joe's. But also, I gotta take a quick walk this morning. Didn't get a chance to do it way early. It's trash day. They haven't picked it up yet. It's a very gloomy June today. So much so that it looks like it rained but it's just missed. I generally spend the beginning of the week populating my calendar with cool things. Cool things that I'm gonna do this week, cool drives, amazing cars. I started this vlog with one car. Just wanted to drive something interesting, something fun. And as it's grown, and we're now at episode 615, virtually every single day is a cool car adventure. Now I do this because I love it. I only love driving these cars, but I love meeting people that have amazing cars. And as long as these people want to drive, I'm willing to go anywhere. You gotta pick something that you really enjoy. You gotta stick with it. Even though there may be people out there telling you you can't do it, giving you all the reasons why you shouldn't, and stick with it. And as long as you're persistent and you constantly give love to that thing, then it'll expand and grow and it'll become something truly tremendous. And for me right now, this vlog is just that. And although the days are not necessarily perfect every single day, there are challenges. What you're seeing is basically 12 to 15 minutes of my day, and the rest of my day is spent working, working really hard. But working in a direction that's focused on exactly what it is I want, and not getting diverted, not having my attention taken away from something else. As you guys know, what you put your attention on is what grows. So you gotta keep yourself focused. And taking walks like this allows me to stay focused. to mention, the neighborhood is full of cool cars. S550, Porsche, Macan, GTS, A6, S Sport, white Jeep, white GLC 300, amazing trees, mermaid sculptures, right there, and unbelievably freaking spectacular views. Panamera, GT3, white vans, a big ass white house, a white Mercedes wagon, another white Mercedes wagon, hmm. evil white Prius, 
<laughs> and one badass Jeep Grand Wagoneer. Yeah, motherfucker. What are we doing? We're going to Trader Joe's because I'm hungry. And what are we driving? I'm not sure. A Jeep. Yeah. But not my old Jeep. Oh, my old Jeep has crashed. <laughs> um, That's sad. I know, it is sad. This is a, a Jeep wagon from the Murphy Museum. What do you think of the ride of this amazing Wagoneer? It's great. It's kind of cush. Yep. It reminds me back in the day in the 80s. This is 32 years old. That kind of blows my mind. But it looks like it's 32 years old. It, yeah, the design looks yeah. dated, but uh, it's got it real, real leather seats. It drives really, really fantastic. But you can definitely see that you know families would grab this and head out to uh, the Grand Canyon or something. Lots of room. But right now, we're just going to go to Trader Joe's. What did you buy? Well, I bought... Peanut butter pretzels. It's not really on my diet. <laughs> ton of food and we're gonna party like it's 1985. I don't think they made those in 85. Oh, I'll have to check. You want to really blow your diet if you have one? <laughs> Peanut butter pretzels from Trader <laughs> Joe's. It blows it. Kathy's not going to be able to eat. I'm going to eat. You can continue to have your peanut butter pretzels. I probably will. Yeah. It, the sun didn't come out. I don't know what the deal is. So we actually went out into the valley just so we could try and get, get a little bit, sun. bit of sun. But uh, this is definitely June gloom. But it will pass and summertime will show up. Driving on the snake, uh, there's not really, um, this is not really the best car for driving on uh, the snake of Mulholland, but we stopped off and had some uh, a bite to eat real quick. And now we're just kind of cruising it. This is probably the slowest I've ever driven this road. We were hoping to catch up to a, a skateboarder that was going down, but he's long gone. The skateboarder is faster than the Jeep Grand Wagon here on the snake, but that's okay. We're, uh, we're in first gear. Just cruising all the way down. Alright, a quick costume update. Uh, we just been working with Kathy a little bit to uh, to put the head together for this guy right here. Put the head on top of the body. Let's see how it's going. <laughs> K 
cute. Looks good. Gummy bear. Attaching the head right now. Right now, it's not attached, so there's still a gap. I'm gonna climb in, put some bracing in, then stitch the whole edge. But it's been glued. Yeah. And then you're gonna stitch it all together. Okay. You have three of them in here. Bug. How are your heads attached? Let me see how your heads are attached. I don't even see the seam. Where's your seam? There is no seam. That Jeep, very fun. Really, really cool car. You know, it's 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 amazing to kind of look back and think of 1985 as being classic. I guess that would make me classic. But the ride in that thing, the ride is incredible. And big thanks to David at the Murphy Auto Museum for, for letting me have this for a week and to drive around. He was gonna give me something else, but I actually have something very cool coming in tomorrow. And that is the all new Chevy Bolt, the all electric Chevy Bolt. That's gonna come in and, actually is that coming in tomorrow? Yes, that's coming in tomorrow. Uh, Ken and John Grafman, they're coming over. We're gonna work on my truck. But then Friday, we're gonna be taking the Bolt and the Wagoneer, and we're gonna be going up to the Murphy to do some swap stuff. Great set of days ahead. Uh, but I wanted to circle back into something I said uh, in a couple of vlogs ago, and that is about, you know, giving things out into the world and getting things back. And it, it kind of percolates uh, throughout your life as you as you uh, you realize sometimes that you think something and then something kind of pops up. We generally think that is coincidence, but it's not really coincidence. Case in point, uh, I was I was kind of thinking about this the last couple of days. You know, when I go to car shows and it's always fun to maybe have uh, some kind of thing I could ride around while I'm at the car show. I don't know. I was just kind of thinking about it, and I I wasn't uh, setting my sight on anything that was 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 that elaborate. But then I went all the way back to just getting a longboard skateboard, which I had. I gave my longboard skateboard to Sean, and then somebody stole it. I thought about it a little bit yesterday. Didn't think too much about it. I just thought it would be cool. I kind of gave it a, a positive thought. What I didn't show you guys earlier in the vlog, when I was doing my walk through the neighborhood, I came across a trash can. And in the trash can was this thing. A longboard skateboard. And voila, brand new. These are like a hundred bucks. Yes, I went dumpster diving. Technically, I went trash can diving. So just another example of that you give love out into the world and love comes back to you. Give your attention to those things you want. Forget about those things that you don't want. Just ignore that. Someone says something you don't like, ignore them, move on. Things don't work out the way you expect them to, fine, no problem, move on. The more that you give out into the world a clear message of what it is that you want, the more life is gonna bring you back. Cool stuff. 